Hi, I'm Jason, and I'm gonna guide you through each step of the installation process. In a few short steps, you and your family are gonna be enjoying your new American Standard shower walls. Remember to take your time, take a break, or rewatch a step whenever you need to. Before we begin, I like to make sure I have everything that I will need, organized and within reach. I find this helps make the install as smooth as possible. At this point, you can remove all contents from the package and lay them on a flat surface nearby. You'll want to double check that all required pieces are included. Gather all the required tools and keep them in your work area. You will also need some materials. While not required, I like to keep some old towels or rags around. You might need them for a quick cleanup. Okay, so with our prep work complete, it looks like we're ready to start. If possible, have another person join you as the walls are easier to install with two people. And remember to wear safety glasses whenever you are drilling or cutting. We are going to start by checking the alcove opening. If the alcove opening is larger than the rough-in opening, there will be a gap between the rear corners. You can fur out the studding by adding extra wood to create the proper alcove opening size. Then use your square and level to make sure the alcove is plumb and square. If you will also be installing the Aspirations bath or shower door, you'll need to install additional studs for support. You can follow the instructions provided with the door for stud placement. It's also important to install the walls over a solid water-resistant underlayer such as green board. Don't install the walls directly to studs. It's also a good idea to add a layer of primer to the underlayer and make sure it is dry before you start installing the walls. Rough plumbing and fittings must also be installed before you install the walls. You also need to make sure the wall surface is dry, smooth, and free of dust, soap scum, and mold. So wipe the wall surface with a damp cloth and allow it to dry before you start. Now that the wall area is prepared, it's time to install your wall panels. We are going to start with the right rear panel. Make sure the exposed underlap joint is facing you. Attach a corner trim piece to the opposite side of the panel and dry fit the panel area with the trim piece squarely into the corner of the alcove on the right rear wall. Use shims to keep an eighth of an inch gap above the deck of the bath or shower base. You can also move the panel in or out from the corner trim if the alcove is not square. If necessary, the panel can be cut and trimmed to make sure the rear panel fully engages within the corner trim. If you need to trim the panels, the first step is to measure the shower enclosure. Now transfer the measurement to the panel Then place painter's masking tape on the approximate cut area on the finished tile side of the panel to prevent chipping and protect the surface. Using a jigsaw with a fine tooth blade, cut along the line. Remember to wear your personal safety equipment and to use a new blade. Once you have made any necessary adjustments and the right rear panel is correctly dry fitted to the right rear wall, Mark a vertical line from top to bottom along the outer left edge of the exposed underlap joint as a reference for when you will be applying adhesive. Wipe the panel and wall with a damp cloth to remove any dust or debris and allow the panel to fully dry. Now it's time to add the adhesive. Apply a half inch size bead of adhesive in the corner of the alcove from top to bottom. Apply a half inch size bead of adhesive in evenly spaced horizontal strips every six inches from the top to bottom. Now place the panel and corner trim onto the wall, making sure you keep a space of approximately an eighth of an inch from the bottom surface of the bath or shower base. Press firmly over the entire surface to ensure there is firm contact with the wall. Wipe off any excess adhesive with a damp cloth and then apply adhesive to the under and overlap joints. And follow the same steps to install the other rear panel. Let's move on to the side panels. Place the left and right side panels on the wall and align the grout lines with the rear wall panel grout lines. If needed, trim the side panels to fit within the alcove area, keeping the panels an eighth of an inch above the deck of the base. 
Follow the steps you use to cut the rear panels, but trim or cut from the bottom edge of the side panels so that the top edge of the panels are level with the top edge of the back panels. Once both the left and right side panels are dry fitted in the correct position, draw a line from top to bottom on the outside edge of each panel to use as a reference for the adhesive once the panels are removed. Measure and mark plumbing locations for the shower valve and shower head. Now drill a hole at each location using a hole saw that is large enough to accommodate the opening, but small enough to be covered by the trim plates. Drill from the finished tile side and don't use wood or panel bits or grit hole saws as they will chip the tile. Then dry fit the panels again to check the alignment of the holes. Now apply a half inch size bead of adhesive to the underlayer in evenly spaced horizontal strips every six inches from top to bottom. Then apply one row horizontally to the top and bottom edges of the underlayer. Now place the panel into the groove of the corner trim and slowly press the panel onto the wall. Then press firmly over the entire surface to ensure adhesion. And follow the same steps to install the other side panel. We're almost finished. Once all the panels are securely in place and set, you can apply tub and tile sealant to all areas between the bottom of the walls and the deck of the bath or shower base. Wipe any excess sealant and allow 24 hours for the sealant to dry before use. So if everything is dry and working, your installation is complete. Just a little cleanup and then you're ready to enjoy the everyday beauty and function of your new American standard shower walls.